the standing rock. Standing! The standing rock. Oil and gas, don't give it up, pass. Each one of us has power, and together we are strong. <laughs> I'd like to say uh, good, afternoon. good afternoon. We'd like to welcome you to our 524-year ceremony of survival. Yeah. If there's ever a time to pray, to fast, to meditate, the time is now. Thank you, my brothers and sisters, my non native, indigenous brothers and sisters. Now is the time for us to come together through our prophecies. Aloya Kinkachini Dashanan, Okoa Hia, my relatives here today, the four colors of man, we can come together here. Our relatives that uh, their territory is here to Pueblo. We acknowledge them that we can be part of it on their land. And all, our, all the people that come together that we remember our treaties. We're going to offer a prayer for our, our people, the Lakota, Lakota, and the people at Standing Rock, the tribal chairman, the district representatives, the council delegates up there, and of course, uh, Miniwakan, the sacred water, the Missouri River, and the camps. The camp, the original camp, the sacred stone camp. The values, the heritage, the, the teachings of female, the earth, the, the uh, female water, the female rain. So those are our relatives. So thank you for coming here today. Your support and your understanding and your sacrifice. Our relatives, our women, our grandmothers, and our children have been abused in front of the world. So we're going to put a stop to that with our prayers and the spirit that came, the spirit that's talking that we have to do this in a peaceful way. I was up in Standing Rock two weeks ago. We helped put up the uh, first teepee right there on the 1851 treaty land. We put up the sacred fire. We put up the sacred fire. What did the, the police they tore that down, they kicked the fire. They stabbed the teepee, broke the poles. They burned the sweat lodge down, tore it down. No. Threw the pipe down. No. They urinated on the pipe. No. No. Chanupa, the sacred way of our people. No. Tobacco. Chanupa Wongong. But that has consequence spiritually. They're playing with their lives. Our ancestors fought for that. Yes. They sacrificed their life. And the Lakota people, they sundance for that. So today we're going to offer a prayer. As my brother prayed, he asked for blessings for all humanity. For all of us to come together as one family, as one people. We are all indigenous to Mother Earth. Uh -huh. I come from a place, Four Corners area, called the National Sacrifice Area, where we've been impacted by the uranium mining, the horrible, the horrible legacy, coal strip mining, oil and gas. Now we're facing an even greater enemy, the threat to our water through fracking. So we ask for your support. We ask you to remember us in your prayers, in your meditation, in your ceremonies, in your dance, in your songs.
the message to President Obama is very clear. Moratorium, stop the fracking, stop the pipeline now. Yeah.